Hey, what's up guys? It's a late Sunday afternoon. So, it's cloudy out there. What better thing is there to do but to fly our drone? And in this video, I am going to teach you how to do a hyperlapse using your DJI Spark. Okay? So, this video is being shot by Phantom 4. And uh, I'm gonna show you around and then I'll teach you how to do the hyperlapse. Alright, let's go. Alright, for this effect, we are going to need the Litchi version 4.8 where it supports waypoints for Spark. Right now it says we are disconnected because we are right now and we are only creating a flight plan or a mission. Tap here to go to waypoints then I'm going to zoom out so I could get a better view of the surroundings. Tap on where you want to add the waypoint. Now I know from practice that I want to move my drone from here to here. So it says here they are 55 meters apart. Looks good. Let's tap on the settings right here and tell Litchi how long we want this mission to last. Now you could end the mission in only 10 seconds if you wish to but in this case since I'm going to speed the clip up, I want the movement to be as slow as possible. Keep in mind that the spark flies only for 16 minutes and this thing right here is only showing an estimate of how long the mission will take to complete. Anyway, I'll be monitoring the mission as it takes place and if I see that the battery is low even before the mission is complete, I will cancel the mission and take the drone back home. Save your mission by clicking here, give it a name, I'm giving it the name of test1, confirm the save. So I forgot to change something here, you can see on each waypoint they are 30 meters high. Again. I've already practiced this so I know I want the waypoints to be about 15 meters high. So I'm gonna tap on this wrench icon and select this box. And over here, I'm going to select all and tap on edit. So I don't have to go to each of the waypoints and edit one by one and change the height to 15 meters. Save the mission again, close down Litchi, then get ready to connect your spark. And now we are connected. I'm just gonna hover right here while I wait for the satellites to kick in and my home point to be set. Now that the home point is set, I'm going to tap on here and go to waypoints and load what we saved earlier. Now, since we set a very slow pace on our mission, I am going to bring the drone exactly where the first waypoint is, otherwise if I start the mission on the current state, the drone will use that same pace that is set on the mission to go to the first waypoint and it's going to take a long time. Now that we are very close to waypoint 1, let's upload the mission by tapping on the play icon and then tap on go. You see the status says initializing? Just wait for a moment and it will start to move. And now the mission has begun. The drone is now moving at a very slow pace. I'm now going to put down this remote and fix myself a cup of coffee and will return before the mission gets completed. Okay, now we are on my desktop. I've just finished importing our clip from the Spark. Let's see how it looked like. So I know I pressed the record button early so this clip will start while it's leveling to the declared height before it starts the mission. So this is where it starts. Let's scrub a little and this looks good. Now let's head on to Premiere Pro, import our footage, drop it into the timeline and scrub to the starting point of the mission. Remove the unnecessary footage. In this example, I am clipping the footage to where it should start. We want about 5 seconds of time lapse, so I'm gonna put the playhead on this 5 second-ish mark and I will go to the end of the clip. 
I'm gonna hit R to switch to the time stretch tool. Speed up the footage by dragging the end like so and snap it to where the playhead is. Let's zoom in and see what we have so far. Wow, this thing is really jerky. Don't worry, we will fix that in a bit. For the time being, we were able to capture very nice cloud movements right here, so that is good. Now, to fix the jerkiness of the footage, we want to nest this clip and apply a warp stabilizer effect. It is now doing its thing. Head on to the effect controls tab right here to see the progress and wait for it to finish. Now that it has finished stabilizing, I'm gonna pre-render and see how it looks like. Wow, this looks really amazing, look at that! At this point, it is now up to you what you want to do next with your video. Now to end this video, I am going to leave you with some of the hyperlapse that I created while shooting today. Enjoy! Oh, and if you haven't yet, Click on that subscribe button so you get to see more of these tutorials in the future. Thanks.